We're back now at 8 with more of our revealing interview with Martha Stewart. Now, on Monday, we discussed her personal life, and of course, we set her up with Match.com to find the date. This morning, we talked to Martha about her new book, Living the Good Long Life, and some of the ups and downs she's faced over the years. Martha Stewart came from modest beginnings, one of six children in suburban New Jersey. As a homemaker, she created a multi-million dollar empire based on her own image. But along with the highs, incredible lows, including prison time in 2004 for obstruction of justice and making false statements regarding her in-clone stock. After you reached mega success, you had a period where you watched it almost all come tumbling down. Well, I knew it wouldn't. I see, and that is also... You may have been more confident than a lot of other people. I was. I was very confident, and, I, and some of my friends who didn't have that confidence, unfortunately, missed out on the comeback. So um, when you know inside that you're good, that you've done well, and that you um, are, are an honest, good person, then you know that you can live through disaster. I don't want to be, I don't want to be defined by a moment in time. That was a moment, it's past, I don't think about it anymore. But I am, <laughs> and I just got all excited last week, I am going to start my autobiography. And that's going to be a good story. Well, how much, how many chapters will be related to, or, or dedicated to that difficult chapter in your life? Well, I, mean, I think it'll be a big, fat, interesting chapter. Big, fat. I would think that if you spend time in prison, there's got to be time for self-reflection. What good came out of that time? It's hard to say good comes out of a bad time. Really? Yeah, and it's not, and that saying that uh, it only makes you better, right. oh my gosh, I mean... Bull? Bull! It's terrible! <laughs> But you didn't learn anything about. I lost a fortune. I lost. Did you learn anything about yourself during that time? Did you learn that you're tougher than you thought you were? No, I'm a tough person from start. I've always been a tough person. Tough meaning I can survive. I'm a survivor. You're a magnet for praise, and sometimes criticism. Oh, uh, it's sort of equally. Do you think it's fifty-fifty? Oh, I think it's sometimes much worse, and it's and I don't understand it. I write books. I've published beautiful magazines. I've done television shows that are devoted to how-to and good living. Why do you think people living. criticize you then? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, maybe because I'm confident. I think sometimes maybe I'm too confident. Maybe I should have failed. And maybe I should have just gone away and dug a hole and jumped in. I, you know, who knows? Do you take the criticism to heart? Do you pay attention to the negativity? Not the unfair negativity, no. But while many criticize, others can't seem to get enough of her. Currently, Stewart is in the middle of a legal battle between Macy's and J.C. Penney over the right to carry her products. It's hard to discuss a case in the process right now. We are in litigation, so I don't really want to talk about it. Uh, hopefully, um, it will turn out uh, favorably. And it is a contract case, Matt. So I think a lot of information will uh, finally uh, come to light that will put us in a more favorable light. Macy's, who currently sells the Martha Stewart brand, says they had an exclusive deal with her. Yet J.C. Penney and Stewart disagree. What drives you today? Uh, what keeps you going? Two new grandchildren. Is that really one of the driving forces oh, in gosh, your life? Oh, gosh, yes. I adore them. And uh, we're just, I'm just writing, it's due, it's due soon, my article on making little dresses for girls out of old dish towels. I have <laughs> See? That's not true. It is true. I that ha sounds like a Saturday Night Live oh, skit. Oh, no, it's the cutest thing. And I collect old dish towels. <laughs> These are, I know when I say old, I mean vintage dish towels. And anybody can make these dresses. What's your best piece of advice you were ever given, Martha? My dad was, uh, said to me one day when I was maybe 12, he said, Martha, you are a bright young woman. You can do anything you set your mind to because you're a hard worker. Our conversation with Martha Stewart.